what's going on everybody welcome back to bigfoot bass guy tv today we're going to show y'all how to catch them in the dog days of summer all you need is three lures let's go Come here. Big. Okay, so we're going to start out by telling y'all the lures that I'm talking about. All I throw in the dog days of summer, it's simple. I throw a six cents ridge worm or a big worm that you like throwing a six cents dogma and last but not least a little drop shot and we're going to show y'all when to throw each one why i throw one over the other and we got the top water mainly for when they come up with bait on top we're going to throw that top water in there catch them this time of year, it's all about trying to cover water, but once you find them, they're all in one place. They get they get super concentrated in the summertime, and we're at a place where they're really concentrated right now. So, without further ado, let's start catching some. Get ready to start catching a couple. So, with this drop shot, let's talk about the drop shot first. I hate spinning rods. Why do I hate spinning rods? I don't really have a reason, I just really don't like them. So I throw mine, the trick is monofilament with this 7.2 medium heavy. So this is this is a this is a six cents Millican, 7.2 medium heavy moderate fast rod, 6.8 to 1 loose reel, and this is 10 pound mono. I run mono to take up the shock from the hook set on that little bitty one aught hook. And you can get by with throwing it on a larger rod with an open face reel versus a spinning rod if you set it up this way because this is a shorter rod it's a softer rod and it'll take the shock with the mono and with the rod being soft we're fixing to throw over there where they're busting i don't know if y'all can see that fixing to take a top water and throw over there y'all making a move Thank you. 
cut my thumb with his gill plate if I don't grab him. Gotta get the needle nose after that one. His first cast up there in it. He ain't no giant. About a pound and a halfer. But we'll sure as heck take him. Especially on a tough day like this. Maybe we'll pull up on this brush pile and film one video off the whole brush pile. It's a better one. That'll work. That's a good, solid three pound fish. I mean, that is a dang good one right there, boys and girls. That's a good two and three quarter, three pounder. Short and thick little thing. I mean, that joker ain't 18 inches long. He's three pounds. Well, I'm gonna let that one go. Bitty spotted bass that time. Got me all 10,000 kinds of wrapped up. That worm is trashed. Following it down into the pile anyway. That's a big one. That is a big one. That's a big one. Y'all, we have got a big one. Got a big and if it's a bass. Yep, coming up. Oh my lord. Freaking giant. This might be a 10 pounder. I'm not even kidding you. This might be a 10 pounder. This might be a 10 pounder. Come here, baby. I want to land you in the front of the boat where I got cameras on everything. Come here, baby girl. Tie her out. Oh, yeah, this is a 10. This is a 10. 100% a 10. Wow. 
like a hundred percent a 10 pounder <laughs> look at that one. <laughs> oh, the camera died that camera overheated right there and this one needed a brand new battery but she's 10 pounds one ounce and uh yeah caught her on a little drop shot i mean i've been preaching to y'all all day about this little drop shot when it's hot in the summertime so so yeah 10 pounds one ounce there you go all righty y'all see how good a footage we can get of this 10 pound one ounce fish in the heat of summer going back into broken bow gonna work with her a little bit when she's ready she'll go grab her by her tail and just work with her there she goes later girl in my books that calls for a pinch of snuff I got another big one. Y'all, I got another, I don't know how big, but I got another big one. My drag slipping. He ain't as big as the last one, but I got another good one. Four and a half, five pounder. God, I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> I, should, oh, I shouldn't have flipped that. Okay, it's like a four pounder now that I look at it. Yep. Look at that. Skin hook. There you go. Bloop. Again, on this little drop shot, everybody talks crap about a drop shot. I don't care for a drop shot myself. But I'm telling y'all, these dog days of summer, it gets bites when nothing else does. All right, y'all, we're gonna call it a day. I hope y'all liked the video. I had an awesome time making it, obviously. We caught a 10 pounder. But that just goes to show you, in the, even in the dog days of summer, you can still catch some giant fish. Granted, that was not planned. I'm not gonna say that was planned. But it just goes to prove that you can still catch them in the dog days of summer. Don't be scared of that drop shot. Throw it like I do. Throw it with mono on a 7.2 rod with an open face bait caster. It's easier to fish. It's a lot easier to throw. You can set way off your brush piles and still catch them. I hope y'all liked it. I'm gonna get off of here. Y'all don't forget, leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know what kind of videos would y'all like to see next? Do y'all wanna see some more videos like this where I show y'all the stuff to catch them on when it should be like super tough out? Do y'all wanna see offshore videos, shallow videos? Y'all let me know right down in the comments below, but. Like I said, I'm getting off of here. My name's John Bowling. We'll see you next time on Bigfoot Bass Guide TV.